Where am I? What happened? Oh, my brother, you were so close. I swear I will find you. Do I ask too much of her? Time again will tell. White peacock! What can it mean? What are those creatures that chase it? The Garuda Gate. But see, Rangda has the soldiers under her spell. A fresh mortal at the gate? Greetings, little fly. Welcome to my web. city of such beautiful waters, for the waters are now choked with poison. There used to be many more lotus flowers. They always brought me such joy, and Raji can grow more, if only she thinks of it. Lord Vishnu. This must be Hiranyanagari. I have heard such tales of this place. <laughs> she recognizes the city built to your glory. Are you not pleased, O Vishnu? It was my city, indeed. Built to house my temple. But it is no longer mine. A great shadow has fallen Demons of Rangda in my city? Her shadow is long. You must defeat them, Raji. She cannot hear you, but she knows what to do.
see what they built in my name. A magnificent city, a prosperous city filled with marvels. Dedicated carvings and intricate mechanisms. Mills powered by water. Wheels that turn other wheels. That open gates and lift great weights. Jalasura, demons of water, mechanical slaves to Ranga. Careful, careful, my Raja. Avoid their gaze. out. Is it hurt? in my temple, Durga? Of course. That gives her a chance. But the way is blocked. Look, the guardian waters are high. There are mechanisms to lower them. But what does she know of cocks and wings? She is clever, this girl. She will find a way. Can be put right, Vishnu. It is why we are here. Didi, why do we have no mother, no father? They are up there, in the stars, little brother.
Your foulness has no place here. <sighs> This is a place of cunning. The mills, the water that feeds the green fields. There is no denying it is clever, Vishnu. It is such a concentration of power. And now it is in Rangda's hands. In Durga's name! <laughs> It is the story of Garuda. There were two sisters, Kadru and Vinita, the most dear of wives of Maharshi Kashyap. He granted each a boon to show his affection. Kadru asked to become the mother of a thousand sons. Vinita asked for just one son. But that he must be more powerful than the thousand sons of Kadru. Blessed by the Maharshi, Kadru gave birth to one thousand eggs. Vinita gave birth to only two eggs. With time, Kadru's eggs began to hatch. Inside each one, was a coiling snake. Vinita, impatient and 
jealous that her sister's eggs had already hatched, took it upon herself to break open one of her own eggs. Inside Vinita's egg was a half-formed bird-like creature. Enraged by his mother's actions, he cursed her, saying that she would be a slave to cut through until her second egg hatched. And if she did not show patience with that hatching, she would forever be a slave. And so, under the curse of a half-formed offspring, and through the machinations of Kadru and her Naga children, Vinita became a slave to her sister. Years passed until one day Vinita's second egg finally hatched. From it emerged Garuda, the king of birds. Seeing his mother's servitude, Garuda asked the Nagas to free her. They agreed, but on the condition that Garuda would fly to heaven and fetch for them the elixir of immortality. Garuda, for his mother's sake, flew to the heaven of the Devas. He was too powerful for the Devas to defeat and so seized the elixir from them. I saw that Garuda did not want the elixir for himself and so I manifested myself to him. Because his heart was pure, I granted him the gift of immortality. In return, he granted me the gift of becoming my mount. Should I so desire it, I warned Garuda of the deceptive nature of the Nagas. So Garuda returned to the Nagas with the elixir, but tricked them telling them that it could only be consumed after they had purified themselves in the holy river. He attacked them unsuspecting as the bathed and ate them up. He freed his mother, Vinita. For safekeeping, Brahma took the elixir and bore it back to the heavens. This is one of the mechanisms that will lower the Guardian waters. Is it too much for her? 
cogs and levers. This is no challenge compared to fighting demons. What is dream? It is not enough. There is more to do. Another mechanism to fight. She must hurry. We do not want Ramda to notice until Raji is prepared. She must cleanse this, Durga. She must cleanse all of this. She will. And perhaps the tree will grant her another vision of the future.
recorded this being want with Golu to instruct him to control him. Raji did not know what I knew. Here lay our greatest peril. To think that there is fighting even in places of worship. There is worship and fighting if it is for the right cause. This little fly has a sting. Who is this intruder? And why does she bear my wrath? Oh. 
can reach Lord Vishnu's temple. Well done, Raji. Maybe there I can find help. The waters flow, my poison dispelled. You will suffer for this trespasser.
has no place here.
it, Vishnu? I never thought to see such sights. Ah, Raji, you will go further than this and see many more wonders before your time is done. I have no doubt. She will also see terrors. Indeed, this place is beautiful. But at its heart stands the usurper Rangda. I hope Raji is prepared. Reflection in the water. What's that? Golu. No! Golu! Golu! What are they doing to you?
again. It is under attack. Is it following me? Trying to reach for me? This little fly has a sting. Who is this intruder? And why does she dare my wrath? It is not far now, but she will need to climb high. That is something we know she can do. But to face what lies beyond, 
She is strong, Vishnu, but Ramda is the child eater. My city must be freed.
Sword, shield, and heart.
of your heart and life. <laughs> Peter <laughs> Die, creature! Your time is done! How can this be? And she has triumphed. You said that it would be so, Durga. And yet, so many souls have been lost to Ranga's greed. It is a great victory, but Ranga was never a clever creature. Now Raji must face the schema behind Ranga. How will she fare against Mahabalasura, who holds her brother's life in his palm? mystic messenger was exhausted. He warned Raji of what lay in his land. A conqueror had come, bringing demons, death and despair. It was her only way to reach Golu. They must move swiftly. Demon army would do anything to stop Raji reaching the mystic land. The mystic. Badly wounded. Raji must continue on her own. <laughs> 